I'm Mindy Mallory. I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Agricultural and Consumer Economics. So um, part of our group is going to be investigating the supply chain, so how farmers and um, folks in the middle who would function like a trader or a grain merchandiser, how they interact and the incentives between them might impact results like post-harvest loss. So that's part of our project's work. And um, another part is going to be looking at um, how post-harvest loss might be manifest in um, some of the, the market outcomes and trying to develop tools that would allow, I don't know, anomalies or, or ways to sort of identify places where post-harvest loss or some kind of storage or supply chain issue might be, might be causing a problem. I think that the thing that's the most exciting about it is that we're going to assemble a group of people all in one place that are excited about solving this problem together. And I think when you bring that many smart people together, well, I'm, I'm not smart, but <laughs> the rest of the Institute uh, members are, so hopefully we'll be able to make, a, make an impact. Uh, well, I was thinking about success of the Institute, and my hope is that after two years we should have some of the research from the project sort of out there and available for the world to, to look at and maybe get some of our solutions implemented. And my hope for the Institute is that it'll really be the place where people come to sort of get ideas and get solutions in this area of post-harvest loss of staple food crops. I think one of the biggest challenges is going to be maintaining good relationships with our partners in the in the countries that we're working in because uh, it's really hard to to know what's going on and, and get the situation right when we're sitting in our offices in Champaign. So I'm really looking forward to developing relationships in country that allow us to have some eyes and ears on the ground. When I think about post-harvest losses, I'm always kind of reminded of the Green Revolution of the 1970s. So we had this surge in research and productivity and technological adoption, and that had a, a really profound impact on world hunger. And I think, I think this area of post-harvest loss, I don't know if it would be as big as the Green Revolution, but I think it could have a, a serious impact on food hunger because We've looked at, at estimates that some other people have done on the magnitude of post-harvest loss. And they're usually in the range of 10 to 20 percent, sometimes more. And t if you put that in perspective, that's kind of the same order of magnitude as a severe drought happening year after year after year. And that's just, that, that's a lot of food that's going to waste. <laughs>